This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast and sun update for Friday, July 6, 2012. Currently, solar flares and coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, are slamming into our planet. When the Earth is impacted, they not only cause beautiful auroras, but they can also affect our climate by causing our atmosphere to produce violent storms and chaotic weather patterns. They also heat the Earth's outer mantle, causing tectonic plates to shift, resulting in earthquakes. These solar flares can also affect our space satellites, radio transmissions, and can cause instant power grid failure. It is also important and most recently learned that in temperatures over 97 degrees Fahrenheit, backup diesel generators for nuke plants cannot function. And now for the forecast. In Canada, radar imagery from Environment Canada shows scattered rain west of Sudbury through Ottawa and from Halifax through St. John's. Due to the current positioning of the jet stream and tropopause, all precipitation moving through Ontario and Quebec over the weekend should be treated as high risk. In the U.S., radar from IntelliCast shows scattered rain in 24 states, from Idaho down to Texas, from Louisiana and the southern states up to Indiana, and moving across the upper peninsula of Michigan. Most of this pattern will continue in the west and south over the weekend. Due to the positioning of the jet stream and tropopause, the biggest concern for fallout would be Alaska, northern New England, and St. Louis to Indianapolis. Pattern changes will bring cooler temps to the U.S. next week, but fallout risk will increase for the Midwest. In Europe, the following western European cities have rain forecasted for the weekend, as well as other precipitating factors creating a high-risk fallout scenario. London. Paris, Stockholm, Berlin, and Vienna. Recent spikes in radiation levels across the U.S. and parts of Canada could be attributed to the wildfires out west. A quarter century after the Chernobyl meltdown, forests surrounding the Ukrainian nuclear power plant still are soaked with radiation. Cesium and other radioactive materials released after the accident are locked up in trees, mainly the bark and needles of Scott's pines. Some of the highest concentrations of fallout were found in Boulder, Colorado, reported by the USGS from samples taken a year ago. We have no idea what those levels are now, but we should have more information soon as independent researchers step up and fill the gap and will be publishing recent up-to-date findings in the next few months. This message has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe. We have a, a little bit of a, a situation going on right now. The Metropolitan Police have blocked entry into the protest area. They're basically not allowing anyone to enter. 
And there's a large police presence here right now. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be able to film, but I'm definitely blocked out of the area. We're right across the street from it. And we're having zero access to it. Okay, you watch this gentleman cross here. We'll see what happens. If he's able to get across safely. Are oh, they going to stop him? No, they let him go on through, apparently. All right. Okay, they stopped those guys there. Send them back. All right. Yeah, they're blocking everybody out of this area. They're not letting that protest grow in size at all. So, the people that got here early enough were lucky. As soon as the police realized this was happening again, they jumped in on this and blocked this off and blocked this out in a manner I've never seen before. Totally new tactic by the Japanese police to limit the protesting. All right. All right, man. But still, I'm getting the best footage I can considering the situation we're under here. So I'm kept over here. I can't get over there. As you can clearly see. You can't get any footage from over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish this. And maybe I can do something, but I doubt I will. But I am going to try. For now, this is the Ghost Hunters Report signing off.
not allowing anyone to get near it. Not allowing anyone to join. They've clamped down on protesting here. We're all kept pretty far away from it, as you can see. We're not, we're not allowed to get anywhere near it. What's happening? No one's allowed to get over there at this point. I had to get away from those police. I couldn't stand it no more. Come on. Yeah, I kind of had to lie to get my way up this far to even make it here. So every week the police get more and more organized about this. So people are being allowed to protest, remember that point. But they're not allowing more people to join, they're not allowing it to grow. To kind of stunt the numbers here, to make it look like it's a, it's a small fringe group that they need to control. Instead of being a mass mobilization of people who show up. Uh, uh, this is exactly the method that they're using here and seem to be working rather effectively because yeah they're not allowing this protest to grow in size all right now you see cars coming out now all right here okay the, the protesters are getting louder